know what it's like to medal at a major tournament. As Barry just said, bronze for Jackson four years ago in Melbourne. Silver for Stalker at the European Championships in Moscow in Russia back in June. Stalker, a southpaw, boxes in the southpaw stance the majority of the time. Very, very classy fighter indeed. Stalker won in a shutout in his round of 16 bout against Kamal Samir of Sri Lanka, four points to zero. And there's Rob McCracken, the England coach, while Jackson, the judges had to split him and Maloki Nogeng of Botswana, very low scoring bout, just one point apiece before Jackson got the nod from the judges. All in readiness, the first round, the winner to meet India's Jai Bhagwan in a semi-final and of course the winner also guaranteed a medal here in the lightweight division and Jackson lets his hands go early minimum three of the five judges must hit their scoring pad simultaneously for a blow to be counted as a scoring punch you can see two of the judges sitting there at the back of screen Ravinda Palmar of India on the left and John Waithe of Wales on the right. Really, I mean, Stalker has a huge height and reach advantage. Looks by far the bigger man in centre ring there. But Jackson throws lovely combinations. Both in the prime of their career. Jackson 25, Stalker 26. Both with very strong defences. All the punches so far been taken on the gloves of their opponent. Although Jackson got through and opens the scoring. I was going to say he was, would have been unlucky if he didn't register there. Good combination punching from both men. Jackson, an aggressive fighter. He walks within range. A nice shot. Jackson should have got through there. I would have thought that registered that right hand again. But he walks up within range and lets him go. I really thought Stalker might have... Um, you know, stayed at range a little bit more, but they're both guys in centre ring letting their hands go freely. Jackson is the captain of the Australian boxing team. Three Australians in action today, quarter final day of the boxing championships. He missed the Beijing Olympics two years ago, heartbroken at that. He's also had to recover and come back from a stress fracture in his back, so he's done it tough. But he's leading the Aussie charge here in Delhi. And he oh, wears a, a straight left down the pipe from Stalker, who squares it away at a point apiece. Stalker looks so much bigger. He really looks a different weight division. Jackson has come up in weight. Bronze medal in Melbourne four years ago at the featherweight limit of 57 kilos. Now fighting at the 60 kilogram lightweight limit. Taking turns to bombard their opponent aren't, aren't with sustained they? head assaults. I think, you know, the... And caution to Stalker for talking to Luke Jackson. Uh-huh. Very strict protocols in amateur boxing. Luke Jackson walking up, belt around one as we're tied up, one all. Point of peace after the opening three minutes. There's that nice left hand from Stalker straight down the middle. Jolt the head back of the Australian captain. Second round upon us. Second round. The Ashes have come early. Australia versus England. Luke Jackson in the blue for Australia. Tom Stalker for England in the red. Stalker with 
huge height and reach advantages and just looks the bigger man. Both boys have to be under the 60 kilogram weight limit. Stalker tries to pierce and does pierce the defence of Luke Jackson. Just a little left squeeze through the gloves and got him his second point. Oh, a nice right from Luke Jackson there too. I thought it was a clean shot. Looks like a bit of a mouse under the right eye of Luke Jackson. Good work rate from both fighters. Yeah, excellent work rate. One has a flurry and then the other one fires back. Stalker with his nose in front. Both fighters letting their hands go freely. Oh. Jackson chases his opponent around the ring. Certainly don't have to go far to find each other, Barry. No. And another left from Stalker just got through, enough to convince at least three of the judges it was worth a point. Two points in a fight like this, that's a handy lead at this stage. Minutes. Past the halfway mark of the bout. Good body work from Luke Jackson. As a rule, body shots really haven't been recognised by the judges so far in this tournament. At least they've stayed consistent on that. It hasn't been a high scoring tournament oh, by right any stretch. Right from Jackson, registers. He's back to a point. Under a minute remaining, third, uh, second round. Both men letting their hands go. Big punches from the Englishman. He gets away to two points again, using the ring now. Stalker. Jackson attacking like a Tasmanian devil on top of his taller man. Much bigger, looks, looks a much bigger fighter. Caution there from the referee to Luke Jackson for pushing. Final 20 seconds of the second round. Can Luke Jackson pinch a point to narrow the deficit? Almost got through with the straight right. Jackson now chasing Stalker. This is more of the pattern I, th I expected to see. Stalker has won this round three points to one. And takes that two-point buffer into the final round. After a 60-second break, they'll get it on again for three more minutes. Yeah, Thomas Stalker using that reach and height advantages that he's got very well there in round two. Yeah, a bit of a, a lump under the right eye of Luke Jackson there. Listen to me. You've got to give me a the box behind the reach with the defense. Come on, mate. Come on, come on. Rob McCracken, the England coach, exhorting Tom Stalker to remain calm. He leads by two points over Luke Jackson. Final round. Luke Jackson on the attack. For the winner, a guaranteed medal and a spot in the semi-finals against the white-hot Indian Jai Bhagwan. And a caution to Stalker for not engaging enough. Only two, two points, but in a low-scoring bout, it's a good lead. And the mouth guard has come out for Tom Stalker. Luke Jackson sent to the neutral corner. Clock stopped at 2.27. And off we go again. Where can Jackson find this next point from, Barry? Not easy. 
Dorka will be content to Did move. Did he get through with the right? It was marginal. Stalker will be content to uh, use his height and reach, move and flurry back when he has a good right hand there from Jackson. Should have definitely registered. Jackson putting on stacks of pressure here in the third and final round. Under two minutes remaining, round three. Very stiff there, Luke Jackson. Very stiff. Didn't gets get the caught, nod. Gets caught a... with a left hand there. So and... Stalker out to a three-point lead. Oh, big flurry there from Stalker. Momentum can swing in a second. Stalker using the ring, using his advantages. Very experienced fighter here, Tom Stalker. Halfway through the final round. Clock now, the enemy of Luke Jackson. He lets his hands go again, firstly downstairs, then to the head. Stalker responds, all taken on the gloves by the Australian. Fast flurries from both fighters. Little uppercut got through from Jackson. Not enough to convince the judges. Oh, he was tagged again, there. though, the Aussie. Yep. Stalker now four points to the good, Baz. Yeah, minute remaining. It's really it's getting out of Luke Jackson's reach at this stage. Jackson being urged on by his corner. Maybe the lighter division was better suited to Luke Jackson because he really is giving away lots of advantages here in height and reach. Because the featherweight division was has virtually disappeared since Melbourne with Bantamweight now 56 and lightweight yeah. 60. It's a quite a big gap. And Tom Stalker putting the finishing touches on yep. a pretty polished performance. Five points in front, less than 30 seconds remaining. Jackson's been game and gallant. Look at this, these flurries, incredible work rate from Stalker there, fast hand. You've got to wonder how a man as big as him actually makes 60 kilograms, but he really lacks no energy. He's really putting combinations together well. So the silver medalist from the European Championships back in June in Moscow, Tom Stalker, the lanky Englishman, eliminates Luke Jackson, the captain of the Australian boxing team, seven points to two, a very entertaining bout, but just a little more polish from tall Tom Stalker, and he's through to the semi-finals where he'll meet the Indian Jai Bhagwan. And a very, very valiant effort from the Australian captain, Luke Jackson, to go down on points. Stalker, that 60 kilograms is spread out over a lot of body there. He's a very tall lightweight, he's and he's going to take a power of beating. It'll be a terrific semi-final against it India's Jai Bhagwan. That will be a cracking fight. Two more lightweight quarterfinals coming.